If you've been wanting to make your own site for yourself or for your small business, but you've been a little bit intimidated by the process or just not sure where to get started, then you're in the right place. I'm excited to show you just how accessible it is to do yourself. My name is Mimi and I'm an illustrator and a creative small business owner. Through my studio, Mimo Chai, I create picture books and sell my illustration products in person and online. I also have my own portfolio site where I share some of my freelance client work and helpful resources. I built both of these sites myself and I actually really just enjoy making websites. I thought it would be helpful to show others how they can do it too. Things have come a long way since my HTML days. You can now build these beautiful, fully functioning websites just using templates with no coding knowledge. This class is designed for creatives and small business owners, but I believe that anyone who wants to make their own websites will benefit from it. So let's get started. So let's take a look at the themes that are available. If you're not there already, you're going to want to navigate back to the online store section under themes. So this is what you should see. Debut is the one that comes automatically with your plan, but there's so many more that you can take a look at. So you can explore free themes down here. These are all the ones that Shopify offers for free and they in general all look great. And for me personally, I end up using a paid template because while these are all good to start off with, I ultimately always found that each one had a limitation that I needed to use a paid template for, but I'll go into that more later. For now, I recommend going into the theme store because all the free ones are also there next to the paid ones and you'll be able to access more information about the free ones here. So when you get into the theme store, this is what you'll see and you'll be able to see what's featured. You can see what's trending. You can see what they recommend and they also let you browse by industry or like what you're trying to show or kind of even descriptive. So if you have big, beautiful imagery, you might want to check these themes out. So take a look around. When you click in, you'll be able to see the different styles that are included with each one. So this style just means that it's kind of a preset that you can pick one that you like. So ideally you don't have to change too much if you're not familiar with colors and fonts and graphic design too much, but you can always edit a lot of this stuff in the back end as well. You can view the demo. So these are demo pages that the developers have created. So they're not real websites, but they use real products and real photography to kind of show you what's possible with their templates. And I think they're really great to kind of see what you'll be able to build yourself. So at first, a lot of these sites might look very similar to you, but as you dive deeper, you'll see that each one kind of has different strengths and weaknesses. And you'll want to kind of match up the strengths, obviously, of the theme that you select with what you really need for the purpose of your website. So another great thing is that at the bottom, all of them show real stores that are using your considered template. And so I really think it's great to look at these real stores and see what other people have done. And you'll see that even with the same theme, people have done really different things. And you can see what they've decided to use and not use. And I just think it's really helpful inspiration. So the overall logic of the templates is generally very similar. So even if you choose a different template than the one I end up using, you'll be able to follow along and figure it out as well. And so I took a look at all of the ones that were available and I decided that I like this one called narrative the most. And there's a few reasons. I really like the full width photo at the top. When I went in to look at the demo, I really liked the storytelling capability that it had. And I have a pretty small inventory and I'm focused more on illustration. So I really like how it's laid out already. It's the closest to what I had in mind. It has some cool features such as this variation selector here. I can go ahead and add the theme by clicking up here. So for the free themes, you can actually add as many as you want. So if you want, you can add them all so you can keep track of them and then delete the ones that you don't want later on. Once you add it here, it will show up in your theme library. Now let's take a look at how these themes work. Under actions, you'll be able to rename it, duplicate it, download the theme file and edit the code and languages, which we won't get into too much here, but I'll show you what you need to know to get started. And then this is the one that's live current theme, obviously. So I'm going to just move this one. So this just means it'll move it up to my current theme because I want to work on that one. When you click on customize, this is where you're going to get into your website builder. And so again, it's like a world within the world. I think of this as the website workspace within the Shopify dashboard. And it also has a left pane and a right pane, but it functions a little bit differently. So on the left pane here, think of these all as building blocks, modules that make up your website. 
And on the right side, it's your preview pane of what your website looks like. So you might have imagined, if you've never used a structure like this before, that you might go into here and click on it and start to edit it. But actually, you go into these modules to edit all of the text and the copy. Another thing is when you click on the preview panel, it actually is a fully functioning thing. So it's not just a graphic. So it's helpful because then say you have a product that you've set up when you click view, you'll actually go to that product and be able to edit it in once it's all set up. Here are all your modules and you can add sections as well. So when you click into the add section, button, you'll be able to see all the different options that are available for your theme. And they're actually different for each theme. There's some common ones that are always there, but some themes have more than others or have different ones. So for this one, you have blog posts. And when you click on it, you'll be able to see a preview of what that's going to look like for your website. And that's really great because it might not always be obvious from the description. So you can go through and see what you like. And if any of them is speaking to you, you can always click add and it will be added to your modules. So say you're like, oh, I want to show a map of where our store is. I want to add that. What's really great too is that, so now it's live on my preview pane, but say I changed my mind, it's no big deal. You just go in and then you remove the section. And now it's back to how it was by default. So within each of these modules, you can click in and you'll be able to edit it. So here in the testimonial section, you'll be able to change the text and it happens really quickly live say you want to add gate so you can see that that popped up right away. But for now, the main thing I want to note is that once you, this little six dot right here is where you can drag and drop. So say they have a product down here and I just want to move that up to the top. That happens automatically and it's very easy and intuitive once you get the hang of it. And it's really great. So you can't really change things such as, you know, how high this button is in this section or how this is all laid out but you'll be able to take the blocks themselves and rearrange them as much as you want. So kind of like Legos, you can't really change the shape of the blocks that they give you, but you can turn it into whatever you want. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to like and subscribe to stay up to date on all of our latest videos.